Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story? Rose and Rocky's war on insects. That is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Annie Besant and the illustrator is Sandhya Prabhat. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. Rocky bleated when he spotted the ants. Rose danced all over them. Looks like this is Rocky. It's a goat. The sound that a goat or a sheep makes is called bleat. <laughs> it does that, right? <laughs> That's called as bleating. So Rocky is bleating. Why is he bleating? Because he has spotted ants. He has found ants. And this is Rose. What is Rose doing? She's stomping them. She is dancing on them. Danced all over them. She's doing, moving her legs all over them. Rocky stomped his hooves when he saw the beetles. Rose hopped on them one by one. So they didn't just leave with the ants. Rocky started stomping. Stomping is with force. Moving the legs. Dum, 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 dum on it. On something. That's called stomping. So what is Rocky stomping on? Beetles. There are beetles. Beetles are these small insects that you can find in your garden. So when he saw those beetles, what is, what is Rocky doing? He's stomping. His hooves. What are hooves? The feet of, of cattle. They will be very hard. Have you seen them? It is black and very hard. Those are called hooves. Even deer have these hooves. They are very hard and strong. So with those, Rocky is just stomping on the beetles. It looks like they are having a war. They are waging a war on the insects. And Rose is also joining Rocky and she is also hopping, jumping on those beetles. Rocky ran in circles chasing the bees. Rose waved her arms at them. After the ants and the beetles, now it is bees. Rocky the goat is trying to chase it while Rose is trying to swat it with her hands. Trying to beat it up. Look, she's having a swatter also. She's trying to beat those uh, bees up. What are you doing, Rose? Amma asked. We are killing all the insects, Amma. But why? Her mom, Rose's mom, comes out and says, what are you guys doing? Stomping and dancing around. What are you guys doing? So Rose says, we are trying to kill all the insects in the garden. And her mom is shocked. Why would you do something like that? But why, she asks. Insects sting us. They bite us. They make us itch and scratch, said Rose. Rocky bleated in agreement. So Rose says, Oh, insects are nasty. Why? They will sting us. They will sting us. They will bite. Mosquitoes and other ants will bite. And what will happen when any of those insects bite and sting us? It will itch. Ah, you will have to do this. You will start itching. You will start scratching yourself. So she says, that's the reason I'm killing all the insects. Rocky seems to be agreeing with Rose and she, he also starts bleeding. <laughs> he says. Do you like honey, Rose? Amma asked. On my bread, Rose said. So, her mom then saying, do you like honey, Rose? And she says, yeah, on my bread, I do like it. Who do you think makes the honey? Amma asked, pointing to a bee. Oh, 
said Rose. So then immediately her mom says, where do you think you, you're getting that your honey from? Who is making that honey for you? And she spotted a bee and said, look at the bee. It's the bees that are making the honey for you. It's when Rose realized, oh, what she did was wrong. And do you like eating vegetables from the garden, Rocky? Amma asked. Rocky grinned as widely as a goat can grin. Who do you think keeps the vegetables safe from hungry bugs? Amma asked. So then she asks Rocky, the goat, you like all the vegetables in the garden, right, Rocky? And he grins. The goat grins. Yes. The goat really likes vegetables. Then Amma says, who do you think is keeping all those vegetables nice and fresh, safe from the bugs, hungry bugs? And she shows ladybugs. They are very friendly to the farmer, right? Ladybugs, they eat up a lot of pests. It says these are the insects that keeps your vegetables fresh and safe. And the ants, Amma said, they take away all the rubbish. Look at the ants. They're carrying a dead cockroach. So they are cleaning up everything. Whatever is there left around, whether it, it is bits of grains or uh, dead bugs or whatever it is, the ants will go and pick it up and clean up that area. So without insects, we'd have no honey, no vegetables, and a lot of dead cockroaches? Rose asked. Exactly, said Amma. Then what do we do, Amma? So she's asking her mom. So what do we do then? Look, they are going at spotting all the insects and not disturbing them. They have their own ecosystem. They all have a role to play in the ecosystem. So now what is she doing? Instead of stomping and killing all the bugs, she's closely observing them. She's having a uh, magnifier. She has a handheld magnifier and she's looking at all those insects. And Rocky is also happily enjoying it because all insects, all, all living things have a role to play in the ecosystem. We cannot go about killing because we don't like them or we think that we are more powerful than them. For any reason, we cannot go killing any of the other living things. So look, beautiful ladybugs, lot of honeybees, lot of ants, spiders. Everything is there in our gardens, in our ecosystem and they are all very much needed. We should not go disturb them. Let us look at some of the difficult words that we saw in today's story. Bleat. Bleat is the cry or the sound that a goat or a sheep makes. <laughs> that sound is called bleating. Stomped. Stomped is walk heavily or crush with foot. It's called stomping. Hooves. The end hard part of the foot of horses, goats, cattle, etc. The picture that you see on your screen is that of a horse hoof. The, the part that touches the ground, that's called a hoof. You can, you can see how hard it is. That is called a hoof. Hopped. Hopped is jumped. Try these questions. Name an insect or an animal that you find in your garden that you don't like. Do you bother them? What is an ecosystem? Do you think all living creatures have a part in an ecosystem? I hope you liked today's story. Until we meet next time, this is Bye from Soumya.